Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hey, I'm Kayla. Let's first get one elephant out of the room. Yes, I cut my hair and I freaking love it. Like I keep staring at it and oh goodness, oh goodness. <laughs> I keep staring at it because I'm like completely obsessed. Let me fix this angle real quick. <sighs> Also, I'm not like in a sports bra or anything. Even if I was like, that's not a problem. I'm in a bodysuit. It just, it's like a tank top or whatever. But yeah, I cut my hair. I cut 10 inches off of it yesterday. Your head on my to get into the video, I'm gonna be doing like a skincare video, but it's mostly just talking about the products. And I am gonna use two of the products because one of them, well, there's four, but of the four, I used one. I use one in the shower and I use one before I go to sleep. And I'm not in the shower and I'm not about to go to sleep, so I'm not going to use those, but I will talk about them. So let's just get right on into the video. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so the first one I got, I actually opened this in a boxy charm. And it is this Pharmacy Clean B, and it's an ultra gentle facial cleanser. And this is what she looks like. And it has a very, very super like organic smell to it, and I love it. And it's like Job Ultra Gentle Facial Cleansing Gel that washes away surface oil, in impurities, and pollution residue, and makeup while nourishing skin with honey and my friend told me, I have the worst time pronouncing words. Like, if you tell me what it is, then I know. Like, I'm like, yeah, that's what I meant to say. But, like, I read it and I pronounce it completely wrong. But it's like, oh, what is it? I can't remember what it's called. Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid. It's something in that nature. It is not Rick at the end. Wait, I was freaking reading it in Spanish. Maybe it is how I read it. I don't freaking know. I'll pop the screen up, but like, that's like really supposedly that I know of. I, I'm not big with skincare, but like, I would say like I don't usually have pimples, which I know I had that one right there, but it's honestly usually, I only have pimples when it's about that time of the month or if I'm eating like a lot of dirty food and junky food, but... That is the first thing you use. So this is my step one. And honestly, like all you do is you just like get your face and you just use it like face wash, face wash and you clean it. But the second thing I do as soon as I get out, which is also just extremely drying like your skin out. And this is the Clean and Clear Essentials Deep Clean Cleaning Toner. The step two, but I don't use step one or three. But that is it. And it just treats and helps prevent pimples and it is oil free. And I'm actually about to use this because I got off of work probably about an hour ago. And I just laid down because I was exhausted. But you just get like a little thing and you just like clean your face. Which obviously that's what I'm doing right now. And I don't always do it in these steps. But these are just like the four products that I use. And also whenever I clean my face I always get my neck. I don't even know if it's dirty but. And behind my ears which is so random but. I'll always clean like behind my ears and my whole face and my neck. Okay. And I cleaned my face this morning. And this is what a day's. You can't even really like you can kind of see the darkness. That is like dirt and stuff from your face. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. That is dirt from my face. Which is disgusting. But. It really does work and it really does help. I've been using this Clean and Clear probably since I was like in the seventh grade and I don't use like a lot of products, but I really do live by that one product. And when people ask me like, how do you have clear skin? I'm like, dude, I use Clean and Clear as a, like as my toner. And that's honestly what all I used to, which I know I li literally just like a little floating head, but I couldn't sit on my legs any longer. But my third step that I use, if I was to be doing this in steps, this is the way they'd be going but like during the day i mostly stick to this and my moisturizer so after you get done drying your skin out which i can honestly feel 
it doesn't dry your skin out too too bad but enough to where you want to put some moisturizer on it you know and so i'm sure y'all know but i use the Clin the clinique moisture surge and it just looks like this right here and i love this stuff this stuff is freaking the bomb i love it so so much i got another um bottle maybe a little over a month ago and i'm already like a good bit into it but i just put it all over my face and all down my neck because whatever you do here you like you want to do here that makes any sense like you wouldn't just put foundation on your face you'd put foundation and moisturizer on your neck too you know what i'm saying so this is all you're gonna do is just rub it in so I'm going to finish doing that and we'll get on to the next step. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, and like I said, I can't stop touching my hair because I freaking love it. That was my Clinique. So that is my third step and my fourth step which I actually just started using is this skin lab and it is a vitamin vitamin C sleeping mask and I really enjoy it and I can tell that it's doing like a little bit of work because it it's supposed to like restore re, restore restore moisture and radiate your skin while you're sleeping and you just do like three to four pumps of vitamin C sleeping mask every evening over face and neck after applying your face put like this treatment serum but i just use this because i have all this other stuff that i use but honestly i only put it like here here and in my t-zone because it's supposed to um help with like fine lines and stuff like that i'm pretty sure i hope so <laughs> let me check up on that real quick oh it doesn't help with fine lines it helps like with the circles under my eyes because it like makes your skin like I do not know why I thought it helped with fine lines but I mostly just put put it under my eyes because I get really bad um like under eye circles which I'm sure y'all have seen in some of my videos before because I'm like dead in them but that is my skincare routine I must say that my skincare routine has changed definitely over the years and especially in the past like two months because like I said I used to only do this I have lived by this product since I was in seventh grade I, there's no telling how many bottles of this stuff that I've bought and I freaking love it and I highly re recommend it and I have kind of like a combination skin of like I'm very oily all through the t-zone like in my nose and my chin and then over here is always super super dry and like right now my skin feels wonderful but yeah and so then about a year ago I started using like the Clinique moisture surge I would say probably close to a year ago and then a couple months ago in BoxyCharm, I did this, and you can't tell I've even used it, but like literally, y'all, I put like one dot and like it goes all over my face, which is really cool. And I really like how like it's like organic and all natural and stuff like that. But I will put everything in the description of like what it is and stuff like that because, like I said, it is. Like these products are really really good the only one that i cannot vouch for like for sure for sure is the skin lab because i've just started using it since my haul that i got from tj maxx but what i have used i really do think it's working so and you put it on before you go to sleep so you literally just tap 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 which you're supposed to put it all over your face but i just do it right under my eyes and the next morning i wake up and i can tell that my skin looks a little different but yeah that is my video i hope you guys like the new do because i really like it it's very sassy i like to say Every, <laughs> i've been sassy to all my friends i'm like it's just the haircut it's because i can be sassy now and stuff like that which is total bull crap but i really do love my new hair and i really hope you guys enjoyed this little skincare it's i'm not gonna say routine but how i guess i keep my skin clear and i'm not saying i don't ever have pimples and if you do have like imperfections on your face, like that's fine because sometimes you can't freaking help it. Like when I get pimples, I don't want them, you know? And I know people don't want them, so I'm not here to brag that I have good skin because I hear it enough from my friends that I have good skin. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm sorry, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get notified when I upload a video.
and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!